Hey guys, it's Todd with Quip Media, and listen, I think I have found what I believe to be the perfect upright piano for my uh, on-stage keyboard rig uh, at the church, and so uh, I'm gonna be going through the process of gutting this and configuring it so that it has a MIDI controller on the inside of it. Uh, I found this uh, from someone very inexpensive that was just uh, trying to sell everything, and uh, it's a beautiful piano. I, I love the wood on it, uh, and it's gonna fit right in with the decor uh, at my church. And I should mention right here that if you're gonna do this, you wanna give some thought to how tall the piano is. Uh, taller pianos are probably not gonna work well for your situation. It just kinda of depends on how you're setting things up uh, inside of your space, but uh, you wanna take a look at that. Uh, and you also want to make sure that you measure the key bed of the piano to make sure you've got room to actually fit your keyboard or your controller uh, into that. Um, you may be looking for something or you may find an older piano that you are just going to paint or, or something like that and it doesn't really matter about the finish and stuff. Uh, that's all perfectly fine. Uh, but in my situation, I wanted to make sure that the finish was intact. I at first thought that I was going to have to try to refinish all of that stuff. Uh, and as it turns out, um, this is actually the perfect thing. So I'm actually going to have to be very careful about how I dismantle this so that everything kind of stays looking as good as it can so that when we do get it onto the stage it's going to be um, something that just fits in right in with the decor and it will be minimal work for me to try to make sure that it kind of has that look I, I'm, I'm all right with the blemishes or if there are you know just kind of minor things uh, uh, this whole look of having an upright piano on the stage um, you know it's not supposed to be perfect uh, it's just I, I love the idea though I love the whole uh, that whole vibe and so I'm gonna try to do that for for my worship set and, and at least something for me to play and, and, and kind of enjoy that so hopefully um, you find the video to be useful and that you know whatever I have to go through to make this work hopefully it'll be something that's going to help you to uh, make the job a little bit easier if you're looking to do something like this uh, with your keyboard rig all right so let's get into it all right so now I only see a couple of screws holding this front panel on um, but again I don't know what I'm doing so I'm going to take these out and then try to see what else might be might be holding this guy together all right so now if you can see these there's just some clamps that are holding this bar down looks like there's three of them one in the middle and two on the end and your piano may not be exactly like this but um, this is what I'm running into as I'm trying to get this one together so I'm going to remove those Phillips head screws and that should allow me to take this lid off the top and I just put a little tape on the edges because I, it's kind of bumping up against these metal pins and while I'm trying to figure this out and I don't again I don't want to mess up any of the wood grain because I don't know how much of this I may still find use for when I modify this for what I'm trying to do so I just want to be very careful uh, and you may have a piano that uh, isn't uh, necessarily something that you're trying to salvage or maybe you're just going to paint it or those are all options that are perfectly fine it's just that I happen to find something that is going to work well with the finish that's already here and so I'm trying to take extra care to keep that intact. So now I'm going to try to get these screws out and see if we can remove this lid. So if you can see that, that is just a very tiny screw that's uh, coming up from the bottom and has a nut on the top of it and that's going to seemingly hold that down. So we're going to try to get that out of there. 
Okay, so wow, this is really kind of freaky. Uh, but now I have made it to the part to where uh, I can take my keys out and they're actually pretty easy to take out. Yeah, so they, they're just kind of on these little arms and if you can see them, they just kind of have this, um, when you lift them up, they just kind of slide out, but the little rubber arms are, you know, kind of tight and, you know, I guess they need to be, right? You wouldn't want them just coming out all willy-nilly. I, I gotta admit, this is kind of bittersweet because I'm, I'm like, this is a really nice piano and I'm taking it apart. So as you can see, there she is with all of the keys removed. So now it's going to be a question of pulling up this hardware that's below. I'm just basically trying to get down to a flat surface that my controller will actually sit on. Pretty cool, pretty cool. All right, so let's get back to it and try to get these items off and uh, see what we end up with. Okay, so, um I'm figuring out how to get this stuff out of the bottom. I mean, it, whenever you're dealing with whatever, you know, piano you're going to be dealing with, it's probably gonna be similar to this, but of course the hardware and the construction may be a little bit different. But basically, I'm trying to get down to the flat base or the bottom here. Um, and so figuring out how to get everything out of here. Some things are moving. And I'm able to get some things out other things uh, there may be some more screws involved uh, but again I'm just having to work through this and you're gonna kind of have to do the same thing uh, if it's not something that you a project that you've done before so just gonna kind of continue to work through these screws and see what's holding what Something seems to be stuck. I don't see any more screws, but something is kind of holding it on the end. So I'm gonna to try to figure out what that is and then hopefully we can get this base out. It doesn't matter if I break this because I've gone this far and this isn't important. I'm just trying to make sure or, you know, try to make some sense of what I'm taking apart here before I just, you know, break it. But I may have to break it. So we'll see. All right, so uh, this is pretty much it, uh, at least for the base that I was trying to get down to uh, where the keyboard is actually going to sit. The hammers look like they come off pretty easy. I had to mess around with them a little bit to try to figure out what to do. All right, so all in all, uh, it, it's not a difficult process. Uh, it, it, it's actually been fairly easy to take this one apart. Um, the hammers, once I took those four screws off, they just kind of come out and then they pull forward and uh, that wasn't that big of a deal. And they seem to be connected to the foot pedal at the bottom, but the foot pedal only has a few screws that are kind of holding those to the connectors. And so it's not a difficult thing. I can't tell you exactly how yours would be taken apart, but basically the process, I can't imagine it's drastically different. Um, meaning that, you know, generally speaking, you got to kind of, uh, get your hands dirty and kind of, you know, get into it and try to figure out what's going on. I've been able to take this apart pretty well within, you know, a couple hours or so. So, um, I'm gonna finish trying to get this, uh, get these hammers out of here and see what they're connected to and hopefully uh, that'll be as much as I want to take out. There you have it. That's awesome. All right, so 
basically all we have left are is the foot pedals um, and I'm just going to kind of dismantle them they just have a few screws that are on them I was able to remove the foot pedals that wasn't that hard to do uh, it you know just kind of had to finagle with them a little bit I ended up turning it up on its side and removing this uh, piece that's kind of laying over the top I uh, just had a few screws on the bottom it was easy to take those out and this get the foot pedals out of there and for now, everything is out that I, that's necessary. The cover will go back over the top of this area so you're not gonna see any of that. She is pretty much broken down. Oh man, this is, this is so cool. Um, so I'm going to work on getting things cleaned up. All right, guys, now, as you can see, the back of this really doesn't look bad at all. It actually looks really good to me. Um, but I've been on the fence about whether or not I want to refinish it or stain it just to kind of pull it together a little bit more. Um, in some ways, it seems like it's kind of different grades of wood um, from the different parts that have been assembled in the back. And typically, if it would have been backed up against a wall or something like that, like normal for this type of piano, you'd never notice any of these things. But the look and the vibe that I'm going for, I want it to be exposed and I want it to be visible from the stage. And so since this project has been so easy so far, in my opinion, as far as getting everything out of it, I think since I'm waiting on my gear to come in, uh, I'm going to take the next couple days to try to sand it down and uh, just kind of prep it to stain everything back there. All right, so I'm hoping that that staining process works out well. Um, I'm not really sure. My objective is to kind of take it and pull some of those different wood tones together and hopefully make things a little bit more uniform. Uh, I'm not sure if it's gonna work. Um, again, I'm just kind of out here messing with this to try to see what it can what it ends up being and so but hopefully hopefully it's going to be good but as this video is about just gutting the piano i don't want to take you through that whole process of you know watching me kind of deal with trying to stain it and everything so uh, we'll show you that uh, when everything is wrapped up and finished uh, and hopefully uh, it's going to be much better my objective is that since it's going to be on stage and exposed and the back of it is going to be visible I'm, i love that look and i'm going for that look i want that to to be the thing but I want it to look as good as I possibly can. And again, doesn't look bad, but since I got a few days left uh, before my gear comes in, I think it'd be a good time to just kind of take some time and, and see what I can do to try to stain it, sand it down, and see what we can do. So, all right guys, so I am super excited about this. I finally got this guy stained uh, and with a coat of clear coat on there. And um, I, I think it came out pretty good. I am not a woodworker or anything like that. And so for this first time doing this project, I actually think it came out really well. So let me let you take a look. All right, so like I said, this is two coats of stain on here and one coat of clear coat just to kind of add a little bit of extra protection for it um i think it'll hold up pretty well it's going to be on stage and it shouldn't there'll be some traffic around it from the other musicians and things like that but i think for the most part it should hold up pretty good and uh so at any rate i am very happy with that and i think it looks pretty good all right guys now we are here and we have everything on stage we have uh, the piano up on our platform and I'm going to be using uh, or outfitting it with a Arturia Keylab MK2. And so we're gonna get everything hooked up and kind of let you see what is inside of the rig. All right, so I am very happy with this. The new piano rig. Retrofit it from a old school upright piano, gutted. Everything is connected again. I've got my power play personal monitor set up, the computer is set up and running main stage. 
my iPad for loop community stems or multi-tracks stems. I also have the Arturia MK2. I love this thing. I have one at the house in my home studio. Uh, the one at home is just the white one. This is the black version of it. And I also have the piano box, which was something that I picked up on Amazon for this rig. It actually works very well. I intended it to be a backup, a hardware device that I could layer in with the sounds coming from the computer in the event that the computer ever crashed on me. At any rate, I think it works well for the purposes intended. I'm gonna demo it in another video. Uh, if you haven't yet, hit that subscribe button so that you don't miss it. And then all of my cables and everything are running under the bottom. I'm gonna put the uh, cover back on that, but basically I'm able to route all of my cables through the bottom uh, of the piano and everything will be nice and neatly tucked away. Should be cool. All right guys, so that's it. We've gutted this piano. We've turned it into a keyboard rig for our live performances on stage. I really enjoyed working through the process and I'm hoping that if you're interested in doing something like this, that this video will make things a little bit easier for you. Listen, if you like the video, don't forget to like, subscribe, turn on notifications, and we'll see you next time. Thanks guys.